Hello, everyone. Welcome to a command prompt demonstration. Today, I will be walking through Citus installation along with some important information about Citus. My name is Zach Tedder, and I'm an engineer at Command Prompt. I've been doing a deep dive into Citus over the past year, and I'm really excited to share some of these fascinating details about Citus and some of its very cool capabilities and being able to scale databases very, very well. So let's get into it. What we're gonna cover today is what Citus is, when you'd wanna use Citus, some scalability features, Citus structure, and we're going to do a demo of the install. So what is Citus? Well, it's a PostgreSQL extension. It's able to distribute Postgres across multiple nodes to reduce overhead and load on a per node basis, saving lots of resources. Citus is able to increase performance and query speed in this way, and also scale Citus or scale PostgreSQL way, way beyond single node limitations. When would you like to use Citus? Well, Citus is an amazing fit for multi-tenant software as a service applications, which have a natural dimensional fit that groups data together, as well as real-time analytics dashboards and applications, because it helps deliver sub-second queries very quickly with thousands of concurrent users while also still being able to ingest data in real time. And this goes hand in hand with time series data. So monitoring information can maintain the sub-second response time while continuing to scale the amount of data collected very high. Okay, let's talk a little bit more in depth about the multi-tenant software as a service application. Again, this is a good fit for Citus because it has a natural dimension that groups data together, such as a tenant, a customer, accounts, something that needs a lot of data, but is separated and different from other related data. Citus allows these multi-tenant databases to exceed the limits of a single vertically scaled database node, which would go up. Instead, Citus scales this cluster of machines horizontally and spreads them out, which when queried can function as if a singular PostgreSQL database. And as far as the real-time analytics dashboards and applications go, Citus is able to maintain this sub-second response time for real-time events. So when you're presenting some information to someone, you want that data to be up-to-date and accurate so that you can make the best plan for the future moving forward. Citus helps support large data sets for archival and reporting as well in these applications. And it's particularly good at scaling time series data. And um, it does this by combining with uh, PostgreSQL native partitioning by separating the data in chunks of time as opposed to the specific date. Okay, so let's get into the scalability of Citus. One Citus client has 80 billion updates per day with a 20 node cluster and 80 terabytes of data. And they plan to move to a 45 node cluster, which is going to help their capabilities scale even higher. Another Citus client has 700 plus billion events on a 100 node cluster with close to one and a half petabytes of data. Citus is able to scale this way because it provides a turnkey operation for PostgreSQL advanced capabilities in table and query distribution. It does this by using logical replication to move data around with little to no downtime. As far as the structure of Citus goes, it's really important to understand how things are structured. Citus isolates metadata to the coordinator node which then relays queries to worker nodes and performs final aggregations on data. 
The production data, however, is distributed to the worker nodes, which perform computations on the data. Citus structures this in a way where it uses the distribution key or distribution column to determine where to place the blocks of data. And in Citus, these blocks of data are called shards. These distribution keys are used to group related data together on the same physical worker nodes, which help prevent cross-node traffic by ideally focusing these queries just to one node at a time. Okay, now that we understand Citus better, when we would use it, how it's structured, let's go ahead and install Citus on a brand new machine. When doing this, let's understand that a multi-node installation requires all of these steps to be performed and set up on each node, the coordinator node and all the worker nodes. First thing we're gonna do is add the repository to all the nodes. Then we are going to install PostgreSQL and Citus in one fail swoop, with one command. Then you will have a running PostgreSQL instance on each node this is performed on, and the next step will be configuring the node. So let's hop in and install. Let's go in to our Citus machine. This is a brand new LXD container, which only has curl installed on it. And what we're going to do is we are going to curl our repository to our instance. And we're going to do that from the Citus data website. And here it's going to go through setting up everything it needs for our installation. And there we go. The repository is set up and we're ready to install. So Let's do so. We are going to install PostgreSQL 15 along with Citus 11.2. And if you happen to see our blog post on commandprompt.com, you'll notice that we used Citus 11.1 for that. Well, turns out things are constantly evolving and growing in the tech world to provide more capabilities and better use. So here we go. It's that simple. We are now installed. And let's go to our PSQL prompt. So here we have it. We are running PostgreSQL 15.2 with Citus installed along with it. All right. So today we have covered what Citus is, when you'd like to use Citus, Citus is a scale scalability capabilities, its structure, and we did a demo of the install. Next up in our series of videos is going to be Citus configuration. Please join us. Thank you for your time and let's continue the conversation with any questions or comments you might have.